and, and I am in love with the new Nigeria that they saw, that they showed, that, they, that it was not about whether you are a Christian, it was not about whether you are Muslim, it wasn't whether you are rich or poor. Those are just people who knew that they were being oppressed. And I knew that there had to be a change. Today, there are people trying to take that away. There are people who, who want to put what I call, they want to burst that balloon. You know, every single one of us has actually, in one way or the other, contributed to the Nigeria we have now. People ask me, how, how's that? A nation where you already agree that you can be better than the next person. That's everybody. Where, where you want to show that you are better as a person because of what you have. It is the same nation where you, you drive on bad roads to go to your mansion. It is the same nation that people are hungry every night and yet there are people having parties throwing money at people. And you think that someday these people will not rise. See, it started with NSARS. But NSARS was nothing but just what? A symptom of a deeper illness. Let's call a spade a spade. You and I. You and I. I said to some of my friends, I said, you have to understand what's going on now. It's something that I said years ago. How many times do you go to Nigeria and you want to be associated with those people? Mm. Some people who say they can't stay in their own father. Mm. Why? Because they came to America. Yes. Mm. You have to understand, folks, this is not just about NSARS. It's about you, it's about me. It, it, what do you want to do about what's going on in Nigeria? What have you done about what's going on in Nigeria? Look in the mirror and you see who you are. Because you are. You are the SARS. You know, why, why did we start SARS? Anybody? SARS is what? What does it really mean? S-A-R-S. What? Yeah, sure. and and what? And 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 why was there so much trouble? <laughs> Walk like a giant, may we eat like a giant. Amen. May all Nigerians begin to eat like a giant from today. Amen. Well, this for, for a lot of time, I know I will, uh, we don't have no time, but I want to call out some speaker right quick. I'm going to make it very brief. If you guys don't mind, I'll call out my wife because what happened is that after the <laughs> Lekin massacre, she cried all night and made me restless. So I like to come on. Then after that, I would love uh, Mr. Lewis Obia, President of Pasa, and Uche to say good. And Amara. No, no, no. That's okay. That's all I hear they say in Nigeria. I don't know what it means, but I hear them say sorrow. Speak up, speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. And that's why we're here. I thank you for all of you that are here today to stand for your country, Nigeria. Nigeria is a great country. We're here by, we're not here by accident. We're here because God brought us here. Yes, sir. But our, our sisters back home are suffering. Yes, sir. Our sisters back home, our brothers are dying. Yes, they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be standing for Nigeria, but the youths are dying. Yes. But we're here today to 
to speak because of the brutality that we see on, on the TV every day. Thank you guys for coming. Thank, Thank you, you for, because one person cannot do this alone. Yes. All of you have made it, made it very, very important that back home, people back home are important. We're not just here because we're here. We're here because we have an opportunity to be here. The people that are back home, they want to be here. We, we're, we're crying that we're struggling, but we don't want to go back home because of the things that are happening back home. I'd rather be here than go to Nigeria and die the way people are dying. Yes, I'd rather be here and suffer. I want to go back home tomorrow. I want to go back and see my mother-in-law. Yes, my parents right. are dead, yes. My mother-in-law is alive. I want to go back and meet her in peace. I want to go back home and, and see my brothers and my sister yes, in right. peace. So thank you guys. Keep speaking the word. Keep, keep, keep pushing. Because together we'll make Nigeria great. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. There is something we learn from the youth from Nigeria. There are two lessons. One is justice, the other one is wisdom. The, the Nigerian government can have any gun, the amount of ammunition they have, of Nigeria have war. Justice. And no justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. So that's what's going on. They taught us a lesson. The next thing they have is wisdom. You don't buy wisdom. Wisdom, people are quiet. The government may have the wealth. There is no time where trumps wisdom. So this is the lesson I want us to learn, to learn tonight. So please, as somebody mentioned, we are going to call on the congressmen. We're going to stand behind our youth. No matter what they do, stand behind our youth. This is just the beginning. We are not going to stop. We thank everyone for being here this evening. This fight is not ending here. The fight will continue. And may God bless you all. Amen. Thank you so much for being here. My name is uh, Ms. Elizabeth Kobia. Um, I'm the wife of the president. I just want to say one thing that is very clear and very absurd. The military, the Nigerian military works for us. They work for the Nigerian citizens. So it was so absurd for the Nigerian military to kill the youth. I don't know if anybody read something about that, like read some minute into that. They work for us. Basically, we are we employ the military. So I don't understand why the military take orders. How can your own how can your own military, how can your own soldiers kill your people? That is so absurd. That is just wrong. That is ridiculous. That is just absurd. So we have to start looking into now that we have started. We're not going to go back. We're not going to stop. We're going to start looking into things that happen in Nigeria that are so weird and so terrible. And now look at what the youth discovered. They passed a lot of food that were for palliative, uh, COVID palliative governors and whatever. They packed all these foods in warehouses. Ridiculous. What are they gonna do with all those foods? Sell them? To share on their so birthdays. Corruption is still going on. They say for them. Kidnapping for is still going on in Nigeria. Politics. That is unbelievable. Kidnapping is still going on. Wow. So right now, like I'm I am right now, I am scared, scared of going on sometimes because I'm scared somebody's gonna <laughs> do some things. So we're gonna be speaking up, we're gonna be writing on Facebook, we're gonna be on the social media, we're gonna be hitting them hard. Yes, sir. Now that we have started, we're not gonna stop. Amen. We are not gonna stop. We're gonna be behind the youth, we're gonna be up front. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Dr. Lulu. Dr. Lulu in the building. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Lulu, a.k.a. The Mom Attrition. Yes. I want all the moms here to give yourselves a round of applause, please. 
and then all the next generation, all the kids, my son, Kubem, the little girl, give yourselves a round of applause. Many are called, but few are chosen. For you guys to be here today, that means you're chosen, you're fearless. I'm all about being V-Fab. You know what V-Fab means? Very fabulous. V means vulnerable. That's right. F means fearless. Go ahead. A is authentic. And of course, B is both. Yeah. That's how you make a change. Yeah. There's no change. There's no change without pain. That's right. When you when you are a caterpillar, uh -huh. you're crawling on the ground. You're just what is your mind thinking about? One day I'll be a butterfly. I'll be a butterfly. You're not going to be a caterpillar forever. Uh -huh. The Nigerian youth have shown us that we will never remain caterpillars. Yes. Okay. So. I was so impressed. Every single day on my Twitter, I was giving them big ups. I said, Nigerian youth. Hang in there. Yes. Hang. They want, of course, they will plant people to infiltrate. But for 12 days, everybody say 12 days. 12 days. For 12 days, it was coordinated. It was peaceful. Yes. It was successful. Yes. Oh. And they planted fear. And when there was fear in their minds, what did they do? They unleashed, unleashed the same people. Mm -hmm. So Martin Luther King said, it is not the voice of your enemies, but the silence. Yes. Of your friends. Yes. So you should be worried about your friends that are not here today. That's right. Be worried about your friends that are not here today. That's right. What is more important That's right. than where we are right now? That's right. Who doesn't have bills to pay? That's right. Who doesn't have kids? Who is not worried about COVID? That's right. But we're here because we want change. We love so our give country. your yeah. 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 Clap your for yourself. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the organizers. Yeah. Once show said, show sent me the thing, I was like, oh, I'm there. Yeah. You know, and that's how we do things. Yes. If you are serious about change, when they call you Dela Noche, you are there Dela Manana. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. I yeah. speak that language, don't worry, don't worry about right. it. When they call you Dela Noche, you yes. are there Dela Manana. That's how you do it. Yes. That's how you create change. Yes. There will be no change without pain. Yes. When you plant a seed, mm -hmm. the seed must die yes. to rise up as a brand new shoot. That's, That's right. how you make change. That's so you know what you guys, go on, Sara Soke, freaking Sara Soke. Well, this, uh, this point, I mean, anybody that has something to say can come out and say it very briefly. I did, yeah. So that we can, uh, you know, sure, yeah. write it on. You have something to say? Come out and say it briefly. Okay. Because we are all Nigerians, so we don't want you to. We don't want to deny you the privilege of uh, speaking your mind. My sister and her husband called me for this. What the question I ask is: After this protest, what next? If we just end it like this, we all need to be like the man in the Bible, called Nehemiah. When there was stuff going on in this country, he was enjoying the case palace. Only. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start by singing that we are marching forward as a people. Because Nigeria is marching forward. This is not about just inside. We just thank God that we are all here today. Being present. You know, being mindful of what the other person is. I think we're going to make better. We are forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Bring a better Nigeria Amen. for the future generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is an end to starvation, an end to police brutality, an end to people turning their eyes away from what is happening. We are seeing what's happening, like um, uh, as the Quran said. We see what is happening. Even the churches hail, they hail those politicians. Where did the money come from? Nigeria belongs to all Nigerians. Hey, they hail Trump. 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 Yeah. Trump. <laughs> That think that all the money in the treasury of Nigeria belongs to them. Yeah. Where are you taking the money to? From the government.
So today, we all know that the arm of law always bent towards justice. Like my brother Innocent pointed earlier, any country that pay their youth, pay their future. At the end of the day, the youth of Nigeria will propel that nation to greater heights. So today, we stand with the youth and say no more killing of our youth. No more the government of the United States of America to quickly prioritize Nigeria. Because what we experience in Congo, we experience in Rwanda, will be a transfer if the United States doesn't intervene immediately. So we call on the United States to intervene immediately. I'm a opportunity to be an American citizen, and I know how things work here. As we leave this place, I encourage us, call your congressmen, call them, remind them, because how it works is, the many calls they get, that's how they prioritize their topics or their subjects for the day. If we call them, encourage our friends to call their congressmen that represent us to look at what is going on in Nigeria and stand with the youth of Nigeria and condemn all that we have experienced and the all the Nigerian government to listen to the youth and meet the demand and let's be that process of meeting that demand. The Nigerian youth to you, we admire your spirit. We admire what you've organized. For the first time, we've seen a flawless organization of a movement. And this movement will never stop. Yes, so we encourage you, be bold, persevere, because the people you're fighting, they will never relinquish power. And then we call on the members of humanity. We have Americans standing with us here today. Say no to police brutality. Yes, Say no to SARS. Say no to injustices that we've seen cradle that nation, Nigeria. Now, like Pastor Duran mentioned earlier, there's more that we can do. I'll head to us to go home today and call it a day. Please stay plugged in with what's going on in Nigeria. I know there's going to be a lot of financial need. I know the ultimate is the prayer need. Keep Nigeria in your prayers. And as much as we could, we have to look at the youth and encourage them in every way we can. So once again, thank you for coming out this evening. I'm not trying to round us up, but wherever we go, I pray that we go in peace. I pray that we don't forget what today stands for. I pray that we don't forget what SARS stands for. And like Pastor John said, check yourself, is the SARS in you? Get rid of it. Thank you, and God bless. God bless Nigeria. We need a song, we need a song. And stars now. 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 And